Hello, this is Janet from Servant for His Glory 44. I come in the name of Jesus Christ, Yehoshua HaMashiach. This is an intercession video, an SOS intercession video. The Lord has prompted me to make these SOS intercession videos as He has informed me that we have entered into a season of heavier warfare. I believe the Spirit will draw you if you're meant to pray along with these intercessions. I also... I uh, want to give the disclaimer that I'll be praying through the utterance of the Holy Spirit, meaning I'll be praying in tongues as the Holy Spirit guides and leads. I'm going to yield to the Holy Spirit, and I'm not looking for an interpretation. I'm just asking the Holy Spirit to pray on behalf of what is needed, as I believe that the Holy Spirit can pray more precisely, that there is mysteries locked, unlocked when we pray in the Spirit. And that sometimes when we don't know what to pray, the Holy Spirit always knows what to pray. And also that there's no distance in the Spirit. As I yield to the Holy Spirit and as we yield to the Holy Spirit, I believe that uh, we are being strengthened in unity. And the Lord gave me a dream about the unity of the Holy Spirit being brought forth in the lives of His people. And so... That is why I'll be praying uh, as the Father has led me to pray in the Spirit. Uh, and the verse, specific verse that the Lord really emphasized is found in Romans 8, verse 26 or 27. Likewise, the Spirit helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what to pray as we ought, but the Spirit maketh intercession for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into this intercession. Dear Heavenly Father, Abba, Yahuwah, I thank you for this time where we can come as two or more gather that you are in the midst. I thank you that your word says, if two or more agree on earth as touching anything they shall ask, it shall be done of our Father which is in heaven. And I give you glory and I give you praise. Yes, we come into your courts with thanksgiving and we come into your courts with praise. Father, I ask you to forgive us where we have fallen short. Places where we did not guard our heart. Any traps and schemes and plots of the enemy that we may have uh, fallen into, the pl times where we've fallen short, times where we have not guarded our heart and we had wrong intentions, wrong motives, pride, covetousness, things, lust, anger. Father, you said all have fallen short of your glory, but I thank you that you gave your son as an atonement and I receive by faith the cleansing and the purifying properties of the blood to cover us believers as we come in unity asking for your perfect will to be done father in this time of intercession for such a time as this so please forgive us our father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come they will be done in earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those that have trespassed against us and lead us not to temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory in the name of Yehoshua HaMashiach we put the full armor on, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the girdle of truth, the sandals of the preparation of the gospel of peace, the shield of faith, and the sword of the Spirit. I declare by faith, and I thank you that your word strengthens us. It builds up our most holy faith. Yes, it strengthens us from the inside out, and it renews our mind. So I declare by faith, Psalms 107. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, Yahuwah, for he is good, for his mercy endure forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord, Yahuwah, say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy, and gathered them out of the lands from the east and from the west and from the north and from the south. They wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Then they cried unto the Lord, Yahuwah, in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distresses. And he led them forth by the right way, that they might go to a city of habitation. Oh, that men would praise the Lord, Yah, for his goodness, for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he satisfied the longing soul and filled the hungry soul with goodness. Such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, being bound in affliction and iron, because they rebelled against the words of Yahuwah and contemned the counsel of the Most High. That, therefore he brought down their heart with labor, they fell down, and there was none to help. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distresses. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death, and break their bands asunder. I praise you, Father, because you've done that in my life. 
even when I sinned and rebelled against you and you gave me a second chance and a third chance and a fourth chance and I wouldn't be here in this moment if you hadn't given me chance after chance your long suffering and I thank you for second chances oh that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men for he hath broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron and sunder fools because of their transgression and because of their iniquities are afflicted their soul poureth all manner of meat, and they draw near unto the gates of death. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distresses. He sent his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. Oh, that men would praise the Lord, Yahuwah, Yah, for his goodness, and for his wonderful works to the children of men. And let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving, and declare his works with rejoicing. They that go down to the sea in ships, that do business in great waters... These see the works of the Lord, and his wonders in the deep. For he commandeth, and raiseth the stormy wind, which lifteth up the waves thereof. They mount up to the heaven. They go down again to the depths. Their soul is melted because of trouble. They reel to and fro, and stagger like a drunkard man, and are at their wit's end. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he bringeth them out of their distresses. He maketh the storm a calm so that the waves thereof are still. Then are they glad, because they be quiet. So he bringeth them unto their desired haven. O oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness, and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Let them exalt him also in the congregation of the people, and praise him in the assembly of the elders. He turneth rivers into a wilderness, and the water springs into dry ground, a fruitful land and a barrenness, for the wickedness of them that dwell therein. He turneth the wilderness into a standing water, and dry ground into water springs. And there he maketh the hungry to dwell, that they may prepare a city for habitation. And sow the fields, and plant vineyards, which may yield fruits of increase. He blesseth them also, so that they are multiplied greatly, and suffereth not their cattle to decrease. Again they are minished, and brought low, through oppression, affliction, and sorrow. He poureth contempt upon princes and causeth them to wander in the wilderness where there is no way. Yet setteth he the poor on high from affliction, and maketh him families like a flock. The righteous shall see it and rejoice, and all iniquity shall stop her mouth. Whoso is wise and will observe these things, even they shall understand the loving kindness of the Lord. Thank you, Yehoah. Thank you, Abba, that you are gracious, long-suffering. Your kindness is never ending there's there's no end to it it's unsearchable your love we thank you for this time of intercession holy spirit ask you to have your way i yield to you holy spirit i ask you to move like a mighty rushing wind like a whirlwind and pray on behalf of what we have need of Daravaranti, <laughs> E leravaranto, narasu viete, nerevarasu ne de leravarante, e suriviti. Leravaranto, narasi, e leravaranto, suriviti, nerevarasu, leravarate. Derevara suriviti lent, that it is serevidiente, eravara leravara suriviti lent, era suriviente, not a leravarator suriviti. Loravaranto, serevidinti, nera leravara suriviti, e lerente, era suriviti, lerente nevara suriviti, leravara tor serevriti, e ravara, nora seravara, leravaron tor serevri, leravaron torsi, e ne leravara tor serevriti. 
Thank you, Holy Spirit. I declare by faith. Psalm 94. O Lord God, Yahuwah, Yah, to whom vengeance belongeth. O Yah, to whom vengeance belongeth. Show thyself. Lift up thyself, thy judge of the earth. Render a reward to the proud. Lord, Yah, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? How long shall they utter and speak hard things, and all the workers of iniquity boast themselves? They break in pieces thy people, O Yahuwah, and afflict thine heritage. They slay the widow and the stranger, and murder the fatherless. Yet they say, The Lord, Yahuwah, shall not see, neither shall the God of Jacob regard it. Understand, ye brutish among the people, and ye fools, when will ye be wise? He that planted the ear shall he not hear. He that formed the eye shall he not see. He that chasteneth the heathen shall not he correct. He that teacheth man knowledge shall not he know. The Lord knoweth the thoughts of man, that they are vanity. Blessed is the man whom thou chasteneth, O Lord, and teacheth him out of the law, that thou mayest give him rest from the days of adversity, until the pit be digged for the wicked. For the Lord Yahuwah will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. But judgment shall return unto righteousness, and all the upright in heart shall follow it. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Unless the Lord, Yahuwah, Yah, had been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. When I said, My foot slippeth, thy mercies, O oh, Yah, they held me up. In the multitude of my thoughts within me, thy comforts delight my soul. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by law? They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous, and condemn the innocent blood. But the Lord, Yah, you are our defense, you are the God that is the rock of our refuge, and you shall bring upon them their own iniquity. And you shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yea, the Lord our God shall cut them off. I claim this promise, Yahuwah, Yah, out of your holy word. In the mighty name of Yahushua HaMashiach, by the power of the blood of the Lamb, by the power of the finished work of the cross, by the power of the resurrection of Yahushua HaMashiach, by the power of the Logos word, and by the words of our testimony. Holy Spirit asks you to pray in alignment with those verses regarding events going on in the world Excuse me. Do you know Jesus? I think. Yes. yes ma'am. Can I pray for you right now? Absolutely. Okay. Yes, what can I pray for you about? How about I just let the Holy Spirit move if you're thinking about it? Absolutely. What's your name? Nick. Nick? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Heavenly Father, I thank you for Nick. I thank you that you put together divine encounters for him to be encouraged by you because you delight in him, because you love him, you see him. Father, you have an amazing plan for him for such a time as this. He could have been born in any time in history, but you allowed him to be here for such a time as this. Father, I ask for more of your anointing to be placed upon him, within him. Father, that he would, Father, move with power and might in the inner man, that you would strengthen him where he needs to be strengthened, that you would open doors for him that no man can shut, and that you would close doors that would not be the best thing. Father, ask for your warrior angels to surround him 24 hours a day. Father, as you have impressed upon me that we are heading into dark times, 
but your light shall shine brighter within those that you have anointed, those that you have chosen, those that you have assigned to reach those in this final harvest. And I ask that you would, Father, that you would bring forth everything that Nick needs to be positioned for such a time as this, to reach those that you would call him to reach, to open the eyes of the blind and the ears of the deaf, that the mute, that they would speak, that the dead would be raised, that the acceptable day of the Lord would be preached, that salvation would come to those that need to hear the truth. Father, use Nick, send him. Father, put a boldness within him. Father, remove complacency and send him out as a arrow in your bow, as a stone in your slingshot. Yes, Father, put a fire within him as you did in Jeremiah. Father, I ask you to excite him. Father, astound him because you are good and you are the Father of lights and there is no shadow of turning with you, Father. So I'm asking, Father, that you would position Nick for everything that is good, everything that is great and astounding and that others would see it and then they would glorify you. They would turn to you, Father. Father, bless his family. Bless the work of his hands. Anoint his hands for service to heal the sick and to cast demons out and to just be your hands and feet, whatever it is that you desire, Father. But Father, I ask that you would open his eyes and show him new things, great and mighty wonders, as in Jeremiah 33, 3, says, Call unto me, and I will show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. I'm asking that you would do that, Father. I'm asking that you would awaken him where he has uh, maybe been, uh, just where he has been, not all that he can be because you said greater is he within than he that is in the world and father you have a great plan for him so father whatever would hold him back whatever would hinder whatever would delay the fullness of your presence and your fire and your anointing I ask you to remove it and send him out father to do great and mighty wonders because that is who he is that's his identity father and so I'm asking Lord that you would light shine a light on those places that you desire father yes you desire to have the fullness of your presence abiding in him as a living habitat conducive to power yes not religion but power through the holy spirit so i ask you to stir up the spirit like you did joshua and you did zerubbabel so that he can do things father that will truly reach those on the highways and hedges, not in church buildings, but those on the highways and hedges. That is who you're calling Nick to reach. And so I ask that you would do it, Father. And I'm believing by faith that you shall. So thank you for what you're going to do. Thank you that you are tearing up the strongholds of religion and you are sending out those to be the restorer of the breach. And so I thank you, Father, for this divine alignment, encounter, positioning, preparation, uh, outpouring that you are doing within many of your people, and especially Nick. And I just ask this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach. Thank you. In Yahushua's name, amen. Thank you, Nick. You be... I'm what? I'm really? Uh, I'm still educating myself on it uh, completely, but yeah. Wow. Yes, ma'am. Well, praise the Lord. Yeah, yes, ma'am. That's awesome. Yeah, got me took a fifth. I heard you out here. Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm going to finish my you prayer can, now. Wow. I FaceTimed my mom and I was like, let me tell you about this real quick. And she's like, that's awesome. Wow. Yeah, that, yeah. I know the Lord led me to this specific yes, spot. Yes, ma'am. So, He's so good. Man. Well, let me end with number 6, 24 through 26 over you. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. In the ministry that the Lord uh, has allowed me to be a part of, uh, there's a YouTube channel. Can I write it down for yes, you? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, how about, how? I'm going to um, finish this. And then I'll write it down on the sheet of paper yeah, for you. Fine. Okay, yeah. thank you. It's yeah, so good meeting you. Heavenly Father, continuing on 
I thank you, O oh Lord. Yes, Father, I thank you that you make yourself known. I thank you, Lord, that you're moving, Lord, and that you're not stagnant, you're not complacent, and even this is a testimony of your goodness. And so, Lord, as I continue on in prayer, Heavenly Father, I speak these words once again found in Psalms. Chapter 94. O Lord, Yahuwah, Yah, to whom vengeance belongeth, O Yah, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. Lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth. Render a reward to the proud. Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? How long shall they utter and speak hard things, and all the workers of iniquity boast themselves? They break in pieces thy people, O Lord, Yahuwah, and afflict thine heritage. They slay the widow and the stranger, and murder the fatherless. Yet they say, The Lord, Yahuwah, shall not see, neither shall the God of Jacob regard it. Understand, ye British among the people, and ye fools, when will ye be wise? He that planted the ear, shall he not hear? He that formed the eye, shall he not see? He that chasteneth the heathen, shall not he correct? He that teacheth man knowledge shall not he know. The Lord, Yahuwah, Yah, you knoweth the thoughts of man, that they are vanity. Blessed is the man whom thou chasteneth, O Yah, and teacheth him out of the law, that thou mayest give him rest from the days of adversity, and to the pit be digged for the wicked. For the Lord, Yah, he will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. But judgment shall return unto righteousness, and all the upright in heart shall follow it. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Unless the Lord, Yah, had been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. When I said, My foot slippeth, thy mercy, O Yah, held me up. In the multitude of my thoughts within me, thy comforts delight thy soul. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by law? They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous, and condemn the innocent blood. But the Lord, Yah, you are a defense, and you are the God that is the rock of our refuge. And you shall bring upon them their own iniquity, and you shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yea, the Lord, our God, Yah, you shall cut them off. Yahuwah, Yah, I ask that you would honor this uh, promise out of your holy word. I claim it in the mighty name of Yahushua HaMashiach, by the power of the blood of the Lamb, by the power of the finished work of the cross, by the power of the Logos word, by the power of our testimony because I believe by faith that your word, Yah, it is powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing the dividing asunder and of soul and spirit and the joints of Mars, the discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart, as in Hebrews four twelve. And so Holy Spirit asks you to pray on behalf of the saints far and wide from the four corners of the earth, from the north, from the south, from the east to the west, in alignment with what this passage of scripture speaks about in Psalms 94. <speaking in Spanish> Not a letter of a sort of a diente, a letter of a donto, not a seed of letter of a diento, not a verso letter of a diete. That a letter of a donto, so nevidite, let a verantor, sort of a diete, at a so letter of a diente. Not a letter of a rose, sort of a diente, not a letter of a sort of a diete, let a tor, sort of a diente. Let a verso nevidiente, let a tor, sort of a diete. Lord of a rantor, sort of a diente, let a verso sort of a diente, not a vera sort of diete. Lord of a rantor, the seed of a diente. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Holy Spirit, I ask you to pray that specific targeted angels would be released on behalf of what has uh, transpired in this time of intercession. Angels of positioning, I loose them. Angels of preparation, I loose them. Ministering angels, I loose them. Angels of healing, I loose them. Angels that bring deliverance, I loose them. Angels that break down strongholds, I release them. Angels that bring provision, where provision is needed, I loose them. On behalf of the saints and on behalf of the current circumstances that this world is 
being impacted by. So Holy Spirit, I ask you to pray for the for this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I declare by faith. Psalms 89, verse 46 through 52. How long, Lord, Yah, will thou hide thyself forever? Shall thy wrath burn like fire? Remember how short our time is. Wherefore hast thou made all men in vain? What man is he that liveth and shall not see death? Shall he deliver his soul from the hand of the grave? See law. Lord, where are thy former loving kindnesses, which thou swearest unto David in thy truth? Remember, Lord, the reproach of thy servants, how we do bear in our bosom the reproach of all the mighty people. Wherewith thine enemies have reproached, O Lord, Yah, Yahuwah, wherewith they have reproached the footsteps of thine anointed. Blessed be the Lord. Yes, blessed be Yahushua. Blessed be Jesus Christ forevermore. Amen and amen. I claim this promise. In the mighty name of Yehoshua HaMashiach, by the power of the blood of the Lamb, by the power of the finished work of the cross, by the power of the resurrection of Yehoshua HaMashiach, by the power of the Logos word, and by the words of our testimony. And Holy Spirit, I ask you to pray in accordance with these verses that were just uttered on behalf of the saints far and wide from the four corners, the north, the south, the east, the west, all over this world, over the nations. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I ask you to pray that delays, blockages, hindrances, anywhere where the enemy is trying to resist, I ask that they that you would pray on behalf of those things being uh, removed. Father, ask for an intervening hand as the Holy Spirit prays. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And finally, Holy Spirit, I ask you to pray that everything that was spoken and uttered through this time of intercession, that it would be transferred from the realm of the Spirit into the natural, according to the per perfect will of the Father, and according to his timing, for such a time as this, era su lereverente, era su reverente, lora vera su reverente, nara lera vera su reverente, e lera vera su reverente, lera vera antara vera su reverente, nara lera vera torre su reverente, lora vera antara vera su reverente, e lera vera su reverente, nara vera su reverente, nara vera su reverente, nara lera vera su reverente, nara lera vera antara vera su reverente, lora vera antara vera su reverente, nara lera vera antara vera su reverente. Era varato so nerevrite, lerente, ara so reverente, nara varato, e lerevarantor so reverente, nara lerevara so reverente, e nara lerevara so ne esu e levese volerantor so reverente, nara lerevara so reverente, e lerevara so reverente, lerevarantor so reverente. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And I want to end with, with a, just a psalm of praise, Father. Yes. A psalm of praise, King Messiah, King of glory. Psalms 150, I declare it by faith. Praise Yah and his mighty acts. Praise ye the Lord, Yah. Praise Yah in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with string instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. So Father, thank you for this time of intercession. Thank you, Father, for making this available to us in a unique 
a creative way. I ask you to bless those that have prayed along with us in our session. I ask for a sevenfold blessing to be imparted to them on behalf of their obedience to you, their faithfulness to you, for their family, and for everything that they are a steward of. I ask your blessing to be upon Nick. Father, I ask you to give him the heart of an evangelist. You pour out more of your outpouring upon him and bless his steps, align his steps, Father. Bless him, O Lord, for your name's sake, for all that you are, Lord, for your glory. And so, Father, I just ask, O Lord, that you would be with us this night or day, wherever we are, in any part of the world, and uh, that you would be glorified with our lives. So I seal this time of intercession up in the mighty name of Jesus, Yehoshua. Amen.